Hey guys, this is Jonathan Henderson with Matt Hyden of Clippa, the Christmas Sign Installation Pros Association. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Appreciate it. And I appreciate you having me on for the second time now. Yeah, man. So if you guys do not know, you can find the video in the description. We had a video on how to start and market a Christmas Lights company. It went over a lot of details, guys, like the importance of, you know, training, you know, the best marketing strategies, you know, the best recruitment strategies and tips when it comes to a Christmas light company. So if you guys want to just see a full in detailed video about how to start and market a Christmas light company, go to the description below. But today what we're going to talk about is why you need to start now if you want to do Christmas lights in this upcoming 2023 Christmas season, right? And the big thing that we want to highlight on this video too is that, you know, there's not a lot of training resources that I hear from a lot of guys, right? And the, especially, you know, this kind of audience, exterior cleaning audience. And this is the perfect time, right? Because you're holding a clip of con out in Las Vegas, right, Matt? That's correct. Yeah. March 23rd through the 25th. We're going to be out in Las Vegas at the Sahara, Las Vegas. At the Sahara, Las Vegas. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about why you need to start now. Um, like I said, the importance of residential and the commercial training, some of the locations that Matt's going to have it at throughout the year, because not only do you guys have Clippicon March 23rd to the 25th in Las Vegas, but you guys are also hosting, um, you know, particular trainings as well throughout the U.S., correct? About nine sure. or yeah, so we're actually we're expanding out to uh, we're going to go up to Vancouver this year. We're excited to be in Canada. Uh, previous years, you couldn't really travel up there. You had to be vaccinated, that type of stuff. I don't need to get in that. Uh, but we're real excited to go up there. We've had a lot of requests for it. So we are going to be pretty much nationwide. Um, we have uh, trainings nationwide. Uh, so hopefully it's something that's close to you. Um, you know, the biggest one we have is in Nashville. We go out there before the, uh, the huge convention. Uh, we do that two days prior. So if someone can come out there and uh, basically kill two birds with one stone and learn how to start a Christmas light business and then attend the uh, the huge convention. Yeah, definitely. I know I'll see you out there because I'll be attending it as well this year. Yeah. So, yeah. So if you guys don't know who Matt is, right, you guys have been living under a rock. He owns a Christmas light company, a multi-million dollar Christmas light company called Celebration Hol Holiday Studio, right, out in California, right? Also, like I said, he scaled a marketing company up to $6.5 million in the past as well. So the man knows what he's talking about when it comes to, you know, marketing, when it comes to just building a business in general, right? So that's who that is. You know what I mean? And like I said, if you guys truly want the full scoop as well, again, you guys can watch that video in the description. So Matt, my first question to you, my friend, is why, why do guys, like especially particularly in the exterior cleaning business, because you know they're coming up to their busy season, it's springtime. Why do they need to particularly start now? Because they're not focused on Christmas lights, right? They're focused on getting ready for the season. They're focused on getting ready to, you know, wash homes. They're not, you know, preparing to hang Christmas sure. lights. So why is it important for them to start now, February, March time frame? I think there's a lot of opportunity starting now. First of all, you're learning the business. There is a lot to learn. You know, um, with our trainings, we're teaching you how to start a business within, you know, two days uh, span. And so there's a lot of content we have to cover. Um, so once they go through that training, they learn that stuff, they get access to 18 hours of videos. We have video, all sorts of videos. We have the the actual presentation itself on the back end. Um, so then they've already got the information down rather than trying to cram it all in September, October, you're doing installs in September and October. So if you're going to wait till August, you know, uh, even even August, you know, there's some installers, you know, going out and doing Christmas lights, believe it or not. And we teach you the way you can do that. The season used to be November 1st to uh, basically December 15th. Now we've expanded out. We started installing in September. Um, so if you're going to wait till, you know, July, August and wait until you slow down your other business, I think you're going to be too late. Not that you can't be successful. Uh, but there is an opportunity to get into these trainings early. We start in, uh, we're starting in uh, April. We're going to do a virtual in April for somebody that can attend. Uh, the nice thing about the virtual is you can actually attend the virtual and you can come to an in-person for no additional charge. Um, there's a lot of clients. And if you, if you really, clients that are interested in getting this done early, um, and if you want to get in the commercial side of stuff, we're already booking clients for a commercial. Uh, we started doing that in January, essentially. So we have contracts going out. We have uh, we're selling a lot of product. We've got a hundred thousand dollar tree we're working on right now um, that we're selling. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it, that might be putting the cart ahead of the horse. Getting into the commercial first, you got to learn residential. But there is opportunity in the commercial um, side of things. 
Yes. Yeah, so talking about that, what should guys learn first? So you kind of answered it, but you can elaborate on it more if you want to. Why should guys work on the residential side of things first before they, you know, go ahead and work on the commercial side of things? Because, you know, there's guys I love to cherry pick, you know, when it comes to just I only want to do commercial work, even on the exterior cleaning side. Right. Yeah. So why is it important that they learn residential before commercial? Um, I think it's a sorts of a get your feet wet type thing. Um, I, you know, for me, I do commercial. That's all I do. Um, I've done residential in the past and uh, I'd rather have, you know, do a million dollars and have, you know, 50, 60 clients than, you know, have to do a million dollars and have, you know, four or 500 clients, you know, for me. Um, so there is a lot of opportunity and I, I wouldn't hesitate from doing commercial. I think commercial is easier than residential. So if there's any power washer, pressure washer, window washers out there that are currently working with commercial clients on that side of their business, this is a great opportunity for them to get into this industry and start doing commercial. I would start off commercial right out of the bat if I had that opportunity. It's a little bit harder to go after commercial if you don't have that client base. You know, if I have, you know, tons of residential clients for my pressure washing it, you know, business, it's a little bit harder to get your foot in the door. But we do teach you that stuff. We have certain classes at Clipicon that we're teaching about the sales funnel and how to go after those commercial clients if that's something you want to get into. So uh, that's why I say residential. But again, if I was a pressure washer, power washer, window, whatever it was, and I had commercial clients already, I would that would be my first target right there. Yeah, definitely, because you hit on a you hit on a good point where a lot of these guys, you know, when you're adding this kind of service, you already have a, a list of contacts in your CRM. You already have that kind of relationship. So yeah. it's simply a question that you can just ask whatever property manager, whatever dealership, whatever you're doing, right? And that's yeah. whatever gas station you're working at to say, hey, do you guys also do Christmas size? Do you also do this? Right. Well, because I know training is one of those things that um, you know, guys really get caught up on when it comes to them not just diving into this. So what is the difference between residential and commercial training when it comes to this, right? What is the difference? Because I know for power washing, it's really no difference, right? It's like, if you know how to power wash a building, you know how to power wash a home, vice versa, right? So what is the difference when it comes to the training for residential, you know, light in installation and commercial light installation? Yeah, that's a great question. It, you know, a lot of it's just product, you know, the products you're working with, you know, large elements, uh, tower trees, uh, um, you know, I teach somebody how to do a tower tree. They're, they, they're intimidated by it. They look at a tower tree and it's 40, 50, 60 feet high, whatever it may be. Um, but once you get your hands in there and you start working it and start building it, you're like, man, that was easy. Um, and that's how I look back, you know, and the times when I was doing smaller projects, HOAs and things like that. Now I'm doing large scales projects. You know, we're doing 50, 60 foot tower trees, um, you know, and working with, you know, large uh, theme parks and things like that. Uh, for me, uh, it's just become, you know, a lot easier, you know, over the years. And I've, I've learned from, you know, mistakes, of course, over the years. Um, but, you know, I, I think that's, you know, it's, it's basically the products you're working with. You know, we do teach banner installations. And if you drive around your area and you see during the holidays, you'll see banners, you'll see um, larger trees, you'll see things like that. So it's a lot of it's the products you're working with. And there are some, you know, a few safety things you have to take into consideration, too. You're working with lifts. You know, residential, you're not typically, you know, typically working with uh, lifts and scissor lifts and things like that. Uh, um, so I, that's important to, you know, learn and, and understand that stuff. And that's, you know, that's simple stuff. You can learn that stuff in a day, you know, getting certified, OSHA certified. Um, and those are classes that we actually offer um, throughout the year, OSHA, uh, OSHA certification, um, you know, if, if somebody wants to get certified. All right, then. So just segueing into that, <clears throat> excuse me for my voice, but just segueing into that in that sense. What are what are the locations that you'll be at this year to provide, you know, that residential commercial training if somebody were to be interested in that? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're all over the U.S. Um, we're going to we're going to have some stuff out here in California. We're in Orange County. So if everybody wants to and a lot of a lot of uh, people that come to our events like to tack on, you know, family vacations and stuff like that. So uh, <laughs> Orange County is beautiful. Um, we've got Disneyland out here. We've got Knott's Berry Farm. You can always hit that up. So we've got Orange County. That's in April. We're actually doing an Orange County residential and commercial back to back during the same week. So we're going to be doing, uh, you know, a, a commercial Monday, Tuesday break on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're going to be doing residential. Um, so if somebody really has an interest and really wants to go gangbusters, they can come out and do that or it can just one or the other. Um, so we're going to have that. And then we're also going to have we're going to be in Salt Lake. Uh, this year, Salt Lake City. We've never been out there, but this is a good opportunity for us to get out in that area. And somebody in Colorado or surrounding, you know, um, states can come join us there. Or if you just want to visit Salt Lake, come on out. 
Um, Atlanta, we're going to go out there. That's always one of our most popular ones. We're going to be doing trainings out there with Ryan Fox and Brett Madison. I'm sure, I don't know if you guys are familiar with him, uh, them, uh, but they've been doing this for a long time. They're doing, I think they just cracked a million dollar mark in Christmas lights, which is just outstanding, you know, in, in a three, four month period. That's pretty amazing to be doing that. And Christmas lights has such a great profit margin. I mean, you're, you know, once you're into it and you're grooving and grinding and stuff like that, you're going to get up in the 50, 60, 70 percent profit margin um, on Christmas lights. So you think about that a million dollars, that's seven hundred thousand dollars, you know, potential right there. Um, so Atlanta, we're going to have back to back and just like the Orange County one, we're going to do a residential and then we're going to have a break and then we're going to do a commercial uh, for two days. We're going to be out in Orlando. That's going to be one of our trainings. That one is, is always one of the larger ones for us. Uh, people like to go out there. Uh, they like to do the training and then take their family to Disneyland, things like that. So that's a good one. We're going to, uh, we're going to go up to, uh, Canada, which I'm very excited about. Um, I've had a lot of requests over the years for Canada. We just haven't done it. Um, you know, the COVID kind of kept us back from going out there. We're going to be out in Vancouver. Uh, we might tack some, um, some more on the East coast, you know, just for, uh, you know, Canada, people come down, maybe Buffalo that's not on the schedule yet, but that is usually something we throw out there. Uh, we've got Nashville, like I mentioned earlier, right before a huge convention. That's a real big one. That was one of our largest ones. I think we had almost close to 100 people attending that one last year, and that was really, really good class. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're gonna we're gonna close it out with Houston. We've got Houston. Um, mm -hmm. It's gonna be in September. Uh, Texas is always a popular one. People come from Dallas, San Antonio, wherever. Um, there's there's good opportunity out there. So we'll be in Houston, and then we'll do a virtual at the end of the season for anybody that had missed. Um, probably somewhere around September, late September, we'll do a virtual. For anybody that had missed one of our classes um, that, you know, wanted to attend it, um, you know, I, I I enjoy doing all the trainings. I love the interaction. I love the networking. I love meeting new people and stuff like that. Um, the virtual, it's great content. It's all there. You just don't get that interaction. You don't get that, you know, hands-on training and stuff like that. So something to think about. But anybody does a virtual, any of our virtual, the bookend virtual in the front or the back end, uh, they're more than welcome to attend in, in person. I really encourage somebody to do that to come out to the in-person and, uh, you know, get that hands-on and just get that um, interaction, you know, with us and stuff like that. So um, we've got our trainers. I've got Brett, Ryan, JC Chanowski. Um, he's new to the team. These guys, you know, combined, we all have over 50 years of experience doing this stuff. And we're all, you know, million dollar companies in Christmas lights plus million dollars plus. So you're learning from the best out there. And, uh, you know, I truly believe that. And um, these guys are on my team. They've been on the team for a long time. And, um, I want you guys to learn from the best and that's what we've put together. Hey man, that sounds awesome. So you guys are just kind of taking a road trip, road tour, you know what I mean? Like rock stars, man. Yeah. We all load up in a Winnebago, the, the, the four of us. And we just, we just hit the town. We just traveled the U S. Yep. 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 No, and that's good. Like I said, so you guys can rewind that back. You guys find that information in the description. Like I said, um, where they, where they're at so that you guys can, you know, get that kind of training as well. So how can guys, do you have any tips? If not, I understand. But do you have any tips for like how guys can juggle this kind of training while they're in the midst of a busy season? Because, you know, there's going to be guys that say, man, like, I'd love to do all of this other kind of stuff. But, man, I'm in the middle of the busy season right now, dude. Yeah, it's tough. And I would just recommend if that's the case, I would probably recommend do their virtual because they can just uh, anytime they want, they can go back and watch it. So, you know, if they if they have to break away, whatever the case, it's, it's available to them. The whole training that you go through, um, whether it's in person or virtual, it's all available on the back end. You get access to it afterwards. You know, this isn't stuff you can find on YouTube <laughs> or anything like that. Um, you get um, access to our back end of our website where we've got all these videos they can go back. Um, so if that's the case, you know, somebody's just like, I just I can't break away. You know, all those, you know, I look at the schedule, I just can't make it. Uh, I would recommend doing that, you know, and then they can kind of just learn as they go. And then maybe they'll find a spot where they can be like, oh, you know what? I can something opened up. I can get out to this, uh, on, you know, to this uh, Orlando one or this one, or I'm going to the huge convention. I'm going to tack it onto the, the front end of the huge convention. I'm going to break away. Um, you know, I know it's hard. I know these guys are busy. Um, they're all busy and they're entrepreneurs and they're out there grinding on their other businesses. Um, but there's such a great opportunity in this industry and uh, for the Christmas lights. And, uh, you know, for, for the individual that slows down during the winter time, um, this is a, a, a huge opportunity for them. And I know a lot of guys that are making more money in that three, four month span than they are, you know, to the rest of the year. And people just don't understand the potential. You know, they talk about Christmas. Like, oh, what do you do the rest of the year? It's like, well, we're grinding pretty much all year. That's what we're doing. 
um, because there is such a huge opportunity. And uh, ClickUpCon, there's going to be a lot of networking going on. I don't want to jump ahead here, but um, you know, you you have an opportunity to meet with these guys. And hey, how do you, how are you doing two million? Uh, you know, David Fell, man, you're doing you know over two million dollars of Christmas. That's crazy. How do you do that? David Fell's going to teach you that. That's one of the classes we have where he's going to get up there. He's going to talk about how he scales his business. So you're learning from you know the top you know top you know, top people in the U.S. that are in this you know industry. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity, you know, that we have available, you know, whether you're just, you know, brand new getting this or, you know, having you thought about it. Now it's, you know, we got the wheel spinning you're like, oh man, maybe I do want to do this, Matt, you know, I was right. This is a great industry. We're going to help you through the process. We don't just train you and you're done. The support we give you and you can go on, you can check our reviews. You can talk to anybody. We'll give you a list of 50 people. You can call that went through our training and they're going to be like, the support was, it was top notch. These guys really care. It's not about just taking money from us. Um, they really care about us. They want to help us. They want to make sure we're successful. And that's really what we are. And that's awesome to hear. So if they buy that virtual training, they just basically have lifetime access to that, that then, right? Uh, not lifetime. You do have to renew each year as a CLIPA member. Um, you do have to maintain. It's three ninety five dollars per year. And that gets you other perks. There's there's other stuff. You get discounted pricing with We Sell Crystal Sites. Um, you know, you get discounted uh, tickets to ClipaCon, things like that. So there are a lot of incentives. There's a lot of, um, you know, partners that we work with, um, uh, uh, Pi Mr. Pipeline. You get discounted pricing, dope marketing, uh, all sorts of different vendors that we pre-negotiated prices with them. As a Clipa member, you get discounted pricing with these vendors uh, or these partners that we work with. Um, so it's not just uh, you, you get access to it. You just have to renew each year. Uh, but the content on there is well worth the three ninety five that you're going to get. And you can sit your employees down. You know, if you hey, I want you to watch this video on how to install. Uh, you know, it may seem you know meaningless or whatever, but um, watch this video on how to uh, wrap a tree. Watch this video on how to you know wrap a bush. Watch this video on how to install on gutters. You know, whatever it may be, um, we have all those videos available, and so we, we we can cater basically to somebody that has no clue what they're doing, and that's where our training start out with product knowledge. We're going, to, we're going to tell you what an LED is. We're going to talk about an SMD, surface mounted diode. What does that mean? I don't just tell you, Jonathan, this is the best product to use. I tell you why it's the best product to use. And then and your your light bulb kicks on. Like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. It's not just, oh, Jonathan, you, you should buy this. Buy this. This is what you should buy. I'm going to tell you why you should buy that. Mm -hmm. So, and I know we were, I know we said we were, we were talking about this at the end, but I think it's a good segue to go ahead and have um, just right now. You know what I mean? In that sense. What I was going to say is that what's the rebuttal that you would usually get from people that say, because even I get that sometimes where they say, well, I just go on YouTube to learn a lot of this stuff, right? Yeah. Opposed to having, you know, a kind of subscription-based learning system, because I'm I'm sure you guys are constantly updating that, correct? All the time, like you guys are updating those trainings, all of that, correct? Oh, yeah, we're, we're shooting all new content this year, uh, the videos, Um you know, they're archaic. You know, I've got my old school shirt on, you know, from the 90s and stuff like that. No, they're not that archaic, but uh, we are. We're updating content and that's important. It's important to have an influx every single year of new content. I just reshot my videos, all my videos about three years ago. I'm doing it again. So I want to make sure. And there's things I'm learning every single year. There's new things like, oh, we need to shoot a video. We need to shoot a video for this. We need to shoot a video for this. Can't have enough videos, you know? So that's something that uh, we're always updating the content, the forms that are on there. There's there's forms in the back end that useful forms they can use, um, contracts, things like that. We're always adding more content to the back end. I don't want somebody that went in there last year to see the same content that's on there this year. So Yes, it's crucial for us to make sure that we're updating that stuff all the time and adding all sorts of new stuff um, for them to, you know, make sure that they're continuously learning. No, definitely, because like I said, I, just whenever I get that rebuttal of YouTube versus courses, right, it's yeah, YouTube is a good source. And I know this video is going to be on YouTube, right? And I know I do a lot of teaching on YouTube. But also at the end of the day, when it comes to other type of services like you guys are providing in that sense, I can get a lot of people, you know, in trouble if they if they you know learn from the wrong guy, right? Yeah. In that sense, to where, of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah, right. So I know with courses, it's always more condensed. You're always getting that expert knowledge. You're always getting other people that are there. Opposed to YouTube, you have to find out what particular videos you want to watch. Yeah. Don't know what strategies working. A video could be outdated. Right. You just don't know that in that sense. Right. Because yeah. I think courses kind of give you that structure that YouTube cannot give you a lot of the time. Right. right. So, Everything, everything's changing. I mean, the, it's evolving. I'm learning stuff every single year. And that content you saw two years ago about how to do this, that might change. 
you know, the, the technology's changed, you know, when the Christmas line industry where we used to go buy, um, we would go to Home Depot, we buy all of our extension cords, you know, oh, buy seven foot, then buy 12 foot and buy 15 foot. Now we're making our extension cords and yeah, oh yeah, I can watch a video on how to do that stuff, but there's little nuggets of information and, you know, yeah, sure. I can go learn how to start a business by watching YouTube, but it's that little nugget of information that I'm going to cap, you know, capture from an in-person training where I can ask a question. Um, I can't ask questions on YouTube. You know, I can sit there and put a comment in the box or whatever the case is, but nobody's going to go back to me. Um, it's, you know, that little nugget of information from that question I asked that it's going to save me the money, the $1,495 or whatever I spend, you know, travel time and all that stuff, uh, less than $2,500. You're going to make up more than $2,500. You know, oh, this is a product. I should use this. I mean, I could tell you, you know, I could rattle off a bunch of, sh you know, shit right now that tells you, oh, Jonathan, you do this. This is going to save you $200 right here for every thousand feet you install. Wow. I've had people completely switch what they're doing because of something like that, that I taught them. And they've been doing this longer than me. Some of them, you know, like, oh man, I've been doing this for 25 years. I never knew that. I'm going to, I'm switching everything over to this. I'm like, whoa, okay. Well, oh, I'm just telling you what has made me successful and Ryan and Brett and JC. Um, that's great. You know, that's, that's why we're here to teach you and we, you know, learn and, um, how, you know, you run with it. That's great. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. 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 So I know we want to talk about the Clippicon then, right? So we want to talk about it because I know that's an amazing event. I know that's a big event. Like I said, it's in Las Vegas, Las Vegas, city of sin, right? Yeah. Uh, like a city of lights as well, right? There's a lot of lights that go down in that city as well. So uh, tell us about what Clippicon is also. And then after that, if you want to, you can just give us a list of the guest speakers and the speakers that you think in particular that exterior cleaning businesses that they should be keenly, you know, interested. Yeah. Right? yeah. For sure. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, Clippicon is uh, something we've been doing for about five years now, and uh, it's it, it's evolved a lot over the years. And we're real excited. We were in Nashville last year. We did it at the Omni in, in downtown Nashville. Beautiful place. Uh, a lot of good speakers out there. And uh, it was it was a huge hit. And the, the past couple of years, we've been partnered with a trade show. We decided not to do that anymore. We're doing a standalone event. Um, this year is going to be, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to be at, uh, Sahara, Las Vegas. And, uh, you know, on March 23rd, we do have classes going on on the 23rd. If somebody wants to get there early, we're teaching a multi-seasonal lighting, uh, class, um, which will teach, uh, anybody that wants to, you know, do lights year round, you know, there's an opportunity there and we're going to teach you how you can do that. You can't just take Christmas lights that you use, you know, um, on your regular installs and put that up for a night, you know, for a permanent install. There's products available out there that we're going to teach you in this class um, how you can do it. And there's such a huge opportunity. And we're really excited about this. Um, so this is a new feature that uh, or a new class that we're offering from Clippa is called multi-seasonal lighting. Um, we're also putting together a uh, OSHA certification lift safety operation class. Um, that's going to be on the same day. This is on the 23rd. And um that is going to be, we're going to be in the classroom for about three or four hours and then actually go in the field and we're going to have some scissor lifts out there and uh, boom lifts and things like that, that they're going to get out there and they're going to be actually certified. So they will be OSHA certified um, in lift operation. So that could go for all sorts of different businesses, maybe use it in pressure washing, power washing, window washing, whatever it may be. You have an opportunity to come out and get certified and also be part of a great event, Clippicon. So Clippicon is going to start on the 24th. Uh, we have two days of full speaker lineup. Uh, it's going to be going from nine to five. I know that's going to be tough on the second day for people that are in Vegas um, to get there, but that's why I put the uh, the best speakers at 9 a.m. on both days because it's people you don't want to miss. Uh, but yeah, we have, uh, you know, we have, you know, sessions going throughout the whole day. And uh, this year I'm really focused on education. You know, that's that's kind of the theme for Clippicon. In the past, it's been putting together a lot of speakers and things like that. Oh, this guy's great. You know, speak about this. This is not all Christmas light speakers. These are these are uh, uh, industry leaders in different fields. These are motivational speakers talking about how to grow your business, um, stuff like that. So I really every single speaker I've talked to, I said, this is what we're doing. I don't want you going up there and talking about selling products. OK, I want you to teach this crowd. I want you to educate them I want the engagement. Um, we're working closely with a lot of guys from Conquer. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Conquer. Uh, right. It's a coaching program. So um, I, I love this group. I mean, it's this is a great group. I've met with Brandon. Um, he's one of the head, uh, I think he's probably the head guy, Brandon Vaughn. Um, met with him and we've got such a really good group here. We're going to do some breakout sessions, which is something different we haven't done in the past. 
because I want engagement. I don't want you sitting in an audience and just sitting there listening to somebody for eight hours a day. I want engagement. I want you to, you know, be able to talk to others, you know, network and, and, uh, you know, and, and get involved and be, you know, hands-on stuff, you know, so we're going to be about three or four hours of breakout sessions, um, as well, um, with leaders, you know, in the industry, conquer coaches, um, non-conquer coaches that are out here too. Um, so very excited about that. And, um, just again, two days of speaking, and then we're going to have the uh, trade show floor. We do have a trade show floor, some lighting vendors out there, um, nationwide, different lighting vendors are going to be coming in. Um, and beyond that, we've got other companies. We've got all set. We've got company cam. We've got uh, credit card processing. We've got insurance companies. We've got um, general liability companies that are going to be, you know, have their booths out there. And this isn't just for the Christmas lights, you know, the company like all set. I mean, that company you can use for, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. Um, all set. I'm just going to throw them out there. Uh, really cool company, tipping company. Um, so there's a whole process that goes into it. Oh, why don't you tips? Well, tips are going to help you get an opportunity to pay your employees more. Okay. That's probably one of the numbers, you know, biggest struggles. Every single, uh, and, you know, somebody that owns a business service related, what is your biggest struggle? Typically it's employees, how to keep and retain employees, good employees, right? So this, uh, and I don't want to get into too much detail. You guys can talk to all set. Um, but, uh, that's one of the biggest struggles people have. And I think it's a great tool. Um, that, that's the number one thing I would say, if you're going to get any app out there or anything that's going to help you, I would say, get all set. That's one of them. Company cam. That's another one we use. I don't know if you're familiar with that one. So anyway, these guys, are gonna, we're going to have a, a full floor of vendors. Yeah. Full floor of vendors that uh, you can go and talk to and see. And you might, man, that's, that's cool, man. I'm going to do that all set thing. Um, or I'm going to do that company cam or this, or whatever it is. Um, Tink, the Tencel town, that's a, a CRM. Um, he's going to be out here. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Tencel, Tencel CRM, but he's going to be out there, um, you know, uh, and be able to show you through his product and stuff like that. So uh, that's what it's about. And we do have, you know, we've got some fun too. You know, there's fun outside of it. We do the first night, it's a meet and greet. Um, well, I mean, it's all fun. You know, you're learning stuff, you're getting excited. And I, I want people walking away from Clipicon uh, with, I learned so much information, sign me up for next year. That's That's the goal. And I've instilled that in every single speaker that's hitting the floor and they understand what our objective, what our goal is. This is about education, educating you and making sure that you're walking away from Clipicon and going, man, that was the one of the best events I've been to. So that's our goal. Um, it's definitely you. You went over a lot of those people. <clears throat> in particular, who, what are some names of guys out in the exterior cleaning business that they might know? And uh, some of the topics that they're talking about in that sense of who, you, who, who, do, you, who do you think would make the most impact for exterior cleaning businesses in particular. Yeah. Right. I'm going to kick it off with, you know, he, he doesn't have exterior cleaning, but they made it who he is. This is Johnny Majak. And John Majak is, he's a warrior. He's a champion. Um, he's a lion. You know, he, he, he loves lions. You know, that's one of his biggest things. So if you don't know Johnny Majak, um, he, he, Mr. Pipeline, he's the owner of Mr. Pipeline. Um, but he's got a heart of gold. I mean, he really is such a great guy. And I sat, I, he had a presentation he did at the uh, window washing convention I just went to in, uh, in Vegas a couple of weeks ago. And it was about two and a half hours of John Majak. And that to me was just, um, that was, it was priceless. It really was, you know, his story, um, you know, in, in that he has, you know, he's got all sorts of stories, but his life story and, and how he's overcome that, you know, is just so inspirational and stuff like that. So, uh, I brought him in as the keynote speaker, um, and I'm, I'm proud to have him. I'm very excited for it. So, um, you know, he's not in the power, you know, the, the industry we're talking about, but, um, you know, we've got Pat Clark, you know, building a team, um, Pat Clark is, you know, he's done all sorts of stuff. Um, he's going to teach, he, he's, you know, got all sorts of businesses that he's ran over the years and he's a conquer coach. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to have him. Um, he's, his, his subject is going to be building a team and how to grow a team. And it's not just, you know, hiring people. I mean, anybody can go out and just hire you know, a bunch of knuckleheads, but it's how to build a team. It's, you know, how to um, get the best out of every single person that's on that floor working for you. So that's what it's about. And what that's what these guys are going to teach you. Yeah, you know, I got employees, but are you really getting 100 percent of them? Are you getting 110 percent out of them? You know, we want greatness out of our employees. And that's what we strive for every single day as business owners. Um, you know, we've got, um, uh, Marvin Salcedo. He's, uh, he's going to be talking about mergers, mergers and acquisitions. Um, uh, maybe people aren't interested in that for me. That excites me. Uh, I talked about the subject and I'm just like, wow, that's, that's something I'm going to see. 
because it really does excite me. You get your your wheels spinning. It's not just about my business, Clippa, you know, type thing. And how can I merge with this? How can I take over this? Or maybe I take on a, this other company and that's going to help me, um, you know, so I don't have to hire so many employees. Maybe I take on a pressure washing company or a window washing company. And that's going to help me with my Christmas light company. It's things like that. What is the process for doing that? So that's what he's going to talk about. Robert Penson, uh, you know, he's he's a, uh, very excited to have him. And he actually turned me on to a foundation called Folds of Honor. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Um, Folds of Honor gives scholarships to um, to fallen soldiers, uh, spouses, and children to help them get through school. And I didn't mention this, but Clippicon is actually a lot of the proceeds we're we're donating we're donating to Folds of Honor. So the ticket sales, we're going to do a percentage to Folds of Honor. Very excited! I just went to an event with Folds of Honor just uh, about a week ago at a comedy club. Beautiful event, um, just a great organization. Uh, we're going to be doing a 50-50 raffle. So there's a lot of stuff. They're going to be there. They're going to have somebody speaking. Um, just for about 10, 15 minutes to talk about folds and and what it's all about, educate people on it. And that's really what it is. They get education out there and maybe somebody be like, wow, that's cool. Uh, for me, it's important because my my uh, dad was actually killed uh, flying Navy jets in San Diego back in 75. Never knew him. Um, so I was about a month and a half old when he passed away or he was killed. Um, so it really, it's, it's close to my heart and I'm really excited about this, um, and, and an opportunity to be able to put an event on this, like this and donate to a great cause. Um, so I didn't mean to throw that in there kind of on a tangent on that one, but I'm very excited about it. So, like I said, man, it's, it's really good to know about, um, um, you know, of course I, and that situation is unfortunate, but it's good to know about stories like that because you don't know who, who else has a story like that, right? Yeah. Who else yeah. Acting like that or. You know, and that's definitely a great cause that you're, you know, that you're contributing to. And so definitely, yeah, that's something I don't think that was, a, you know, I don't think that was an open share or anything like that. It's really good. That's how people, you know, we usually think that people connect with the positive. But a lot of the times, whenever you connect with the person, it's because you guys have went through probably the same negative thing, right? Yeah, usually sure. don't connect with people, you know, I'm not saying you don't usually, but it's more common that people connect with the negative things they've went through in life than the positive things they went through in life, yeah. right? Yeah. You know? Sure. So and, and Robert actually trained with me. He trained with me, uh, gosh, it had to be like four or five years ago. He trained with me in Atlanta, and that's how I knew him. And then we connected somehow, you know, a couple months ago. And uh, I think Chelsea, uh, one of my employees, had mentioned that he had a charity and all that stuff. And, and yeah, let me hear about it, you know, type thing. And uh, and it just, it was like a ton of bricks to me. So um, I knew what my, my mission was and, you know, what, uh, what I wanted to go after. And that's, I, I've been building this relationship with them. I'm so excited about it. I really am. And, uh, it's just a great cause. And Robert, you know, he was in the uh, military, um, uh, the Marine Corps. Um, so it's, it, he holds it really close to him as well. And I know there's a lot of military service members out there and actually Folds of Honor is now donating a couple of years ago, they started donating to uh, first responders. So they're helping police and firefighters and, um, just helping those kids get through, you know, those stages. They they lose a father or mother or whatever they may lose. Sorry, my alarm's going off. Um, this is what Folds is out there for, to help um, they get through this process and help them through school. And it's a really neat organization. So excited about that. We have Melody Edwards. Uh, Melody, she's a she's a Concord coach as well. She's going to be out there. Um, Chelsea, my own, uh, my own employee here, Chelsea Fernetton. Um, she is a rock star and she's going to talk about the sales funnel for commercial Christmas lights. Where do you start and what is the process going through? It's not as easy as it sounds. Oh, I get a customer, that type of stuff. There's RF, RFPs you got to go through, um, RFQs, requests for proposals, um, stuff like that. Um, so there is a process to it. You know, if you want to go for those bigger clients, yeah, I can go get HOA and uh, land that and just sign a contract, all that stuff. But if you really want to tap into the larger scale projects, the cities, you know, we do cities all over Southern California. Um, that's, you know, that's where the money is. You start doing big projects like that. You start getting your profits margins up. You start buying, you know, I, I got big polar bears I bought, you know, for, you know, $5,000 that I lease out, you know, each year. And I cover my costs, you know, year after year on those things. So the profit margin on those things is pretty much uh, probably about a 98% profit margin because it doesn't take much to put a polar bear on a street, you know, type thing. Um, but I've already, I own the product. So we're going to teach you that stuff. Um, so uh, that's as far as the speakers, Angela Schroeder, she's a motivational speaker. She's got some books out and stuff, just bringing together a strong cast. And, and this year, I'm so excited about it. We have such a strong, powerful cast. Anybody, it doesn't matter what business you're in. You don't have to be in Christmas lights. Uh, you don't have to be in a service-related business. You come to this, 
you're going to walk away with um, uh, some stuff. You're going to learn a lot of stuff at this event because uh, this this cast I put together is just an amazing group of people, individuals, entrepreneurs, millions of business. Some of these guys, you know, millions and millions of dollar businesses, you know, that they build from ground up like myself, you know. Um, you mentioned earlier, you know, marketing company. Yeah, we started that from the ground zero. You know, that was something, okay, you know, let's let's do it. And, you know, we found ourselves six and a half million dollars later, you know, in, in year two uh, type thing. This this Christmas light business, you know, when I when I when I formed a partnership on this, it was generating maybe twenty thousand, you know, twenty thousand dollars, you know, not much. Now it's, you know, as you mentioned, a multi, multi, multi million dollar company um, that we're operating. So um Again, you know, John, I can't stress enough. You're learning from the best, and we're genuine. We really are. We want to help people, um, and we're here to educate. You know, that's that's my core values: educate, motivate, inspire, um, and and trust. You know, it's important for me, you know, to earn trust with you. Um, uh, that's that. You know, if you're going to buy from me, if you're going to be part of my, you know, my network, or we're going to be friends, whatever, you've got to trust me. And the same thing goes for me trusting you and stuff like that. And so that's that's what's important to us, and that's what we're, you know, at Clip Up, we're all about. Yeah, well, definitely. I think that you summed up everything, man, pretty nicely in that sense. I don't think I have any other questions for you when it comes to, you know, why exterior cleaning businesses need to, you know, attend ClipperCon, why they need to get some form of training with that. Do you have anything else that, and that you'd want to share, man? I, you know? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I went off my tangents there. Oh, hopefully, man, that's... hopefully I covered everything. People, you know, like I said, people hear enough of me. So when I bring guests on, I make sure that I let them talk. You know, it's not about me. Like I said, if they want to, I have, you know, 80 to 90% of my videos are all about what I have to say, right? Sure. And uh, yeah. make sure I get a guest on that, you know, you guys definitely um, are heard and that you guys, because you guys have a wealth of knowledge that you guys can give a lot of these guys. So, yeah, like I said, man, I really do appreciate, um, like I said, you taking the time to talk about ClipperCon and all of that on here. And like I said, for you guys, you can find all the information in the description of this video. And you guys can also um, watch our previous video that went, went more into depth about how to start and market a Christmas lights company, right? Um, I know for this one, I really wanted to shed light on ClipperCon. I really wanted to shed light on training. I really want to shed light on that for certain cleaning businesses. And why you why you would want to start now um, when it comes to that, to be prepared, right? So, you know, if you don't, if you if you don't have a plan, you plan to fail. Right. As people always say, so you definitely want to have a plan in course so that, you know, like I said, the real and I even know this because I work with, you know, we have over 70, 75 exterior cleaning clients and, you know, over 100 just clients in general in that sense. Right. From other industries. And I know that with the million dollar businesses that we work with, they are already planning ahead every single stage of their business. It does not matter if it's I know guys planning for next year. Right. That right now in that sense right but they were planning for the exact moment that they're in right now probably six seven months ago right yeah. people say you know hey you know why why would you just go ahead and think so far ahead well it's like look i i, I can think so far ahead because the moment we're currently in i've already thought about that seven months ago right so yeah definitely <laughs> After the season we go through, I, the girls contact every single person that went through training and, and find out what we could do better. Um, we're always we're always improving. There's you know, we're not perfect. We can we can do better. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the, the the main comments of, you know, what could you have done better? What do you feel like you could have done better was I could have started earlier. They did. They regretted not starting earlier. Um, and getting this done. Now they may have trained, um, you know, earlier in the season, but they didn't prep for the season because they had no idea what was about to hit them, you know, as far as the industry. And we try to stress that we just, we, you're going to be so busy. Um, so that was the one, number one, uh, you know, a complaint that they had. I, I don't want to say complaint, but um, they wish they had started earlier um, and get, got trained earlier is what they said. So. Most definitely, most definitely. Well, like I said, guys, this is John the Pressure Washer Marketing Pros. This is Matt Hyden with Clippa, Christmas Light Insulation Pros Association. I can just roll that off the tongue now, easy. Yeah, you got it, man. <laughs> but yeah, we'll definitely see you guys in the next video. If you guys have any questions, comments, thoughts, I can pass them over to Matt, but make sure to leave them in the comments below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Jonathan, I appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, appreciate you too, man.